So, today, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I am going to be talking about pros and cons of this cinema. Now, I know because it's Saturday, um, it's not Saturday now, it's Saturday when, when you're watching this. You are assuming I'm going to be talking about Big Hero 6 because I'm one of those that's obsessed with Dan Phil. It's not, it's not out yet, it's only Wednesday. I'm recording this early. <laughs> um, I'm going to see it on Saturday. Um, I was going to go on Friday when it came out, but there's no 3D showings on Friday. <laughs> there's only 2D and I want to see it in 3D. So I'm going on Saturday. So now we've got that out of the way. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about when I went to go see Paddington, Night Museum 3 and The Theory of Everything. These were all on different days. Uh, Theory of Everything I went to see by myself. Paddington I went with my three brothers and I paid for them to go. And Night Museum 3 I went with my best friend. Now, Night Museum 3, probably the funniest film I saw. Um, and it was <laughs> quite a good showing because we were the only two in the whole cinema screen probably because we went at 10 past 5 in the evening but nobody nobody else went <laughs> so we had the whole cinema to ourselves um, so that was quite a good show it meant I didn't have to keep my laugh really quiet when there were really funny bits I could laugh so much um, <laughs> somebody's nose in that film though I'm not going to tell you where it is or whose nose it is because that's spoiling but somebody's nose you will watch everyone's nose There's when you see that film now, or if you've already seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm going to start with the pros because there aren't that many of them. Then we're going to go on to the best bit and talk about the cons. So, pros of the film. Pros, pros of the, the cinema. You get to see the movie before other people. Other people that don't go to the cinema because of the cons. <laughs> but you get to see the, the movie first. Um, you get quite a good showing. It's quite a good screen and sound quality. Um, two, you get to see it in 3D. Um, optional, you can pay the extra couple of quid to see it in 3D um, so that's quite a good thing uh, it's also a good thing like if um, if you're hanging out with your friends and you're not really sure what to do or where to go, go to the cinema it's a really good thing, <laughs> if you've got money and you can afford to go to the cinema but it is a good thing it, um, we found it quite a handy thing, me and Danny because we were like, should we go home now? we've been hanging out all day, we've been bowling that was the initial reason why we went out we've been playing in the arcade winning minions um, and then we were like, should we go home? Let's go see Night Museum 3. <laughs> so we went to go see that. Um, so yeah, that's quite a good thing. And I know this is really cliche, but also going on a date, I would actually accept a cinema. Going to see a film as kind of a cute little date. Um, so yeah. Cons. <sighs> My favourite bit. Twats. <laughs> that, that is the main con of the cinema. Twats. Just dickheads. People who make loads of noise. Uh, people who eat really loudly. That's very annoying. That makes me feel sick. Um, people that make mess. Um, people that refuse to turn their phones off and actually don't understand what turning their phone off means. It doesn't mean just locking your phone. It doesn't mean bringing down your notifications bar, turning off your brightness and putting your phone on vibrate. That's not put turning your phone off because it's still going to make a noise. And then proceeding to play Candy Crush through the whole film. It was quite a sad film as well. Uh, I went to go see The Theory of Everything. <laughs> not Night Museum, that's not a sad film. Or Paddington, let's be honest. But we went. I went to see The Theory of Everything and I went to see this by myself. Uh, I was sat in the right back corner and I, that's, where, that's my favourite seat. I love sitting there. <laughs> it's quite a good seat. Um, so I was sat there. A couple of seats along for me, two girls. Before the film started, there was a Shaun the Sheep advert and they were holding up big protesting posts that said no phones, phones with circles and lines through them. These girls, I watched them put their phones on vibrate and turn the brightness down. I started thinking to myself, you're not fucking turning it off though, are you? You're just drawing more attention to yourself. You're making people think you're stupid. And if anybody looks over and sees you doing nothing, like they don't know how to turn their phones off. What dickheads. They were literally like 12 and I know that's a correct way to refer to people who are younger than you, but they were about 12 years old. They, weren't, they couldn't have been older than that. Um, so yeah, it was quite a sad film, but they proceeded to whisper, not the talk, not talking really loudly so that everyone would get annoyed. Things that irritate me, whispering all the way through it, just <laughs> whispering all the way through it and then proceeding to play Candy Crush at the saddest parts. I cried through that film three times. And they, they were just out there like, Candy Crush, eh, dickheads. Um, so yeah, 
twats and phones, people making mess. I understand when you've got a full box of popcorn because they do fill them up and you do drop some as you go and sit down and you get up to throw it in the bin. Acceptable. Why is it all the way down the aisle? Why is it? Why is the aisle now covered in popcorn? Like surely everyone didn't spill it. Why is it everywhere? I don't understand. How can you make this much mess? How did you spill a bo cup of cola all over the floor? I don't understand people at all. They make so much mess and so much noise while eating this food. I mean, popcorn's quite a quiet food if you keep your mouth shut while you eat it. It has that slight crunch to it, but that's not that annoying. Considering, like, if you go to the cinema, there's, like, the end aisle, and then there's a, the aisle itself. There's, like, end seats, aisle. <laughs> then there's a the big chunk of middle seats. Then there's an aisle. And then there's the end seats. It's kind of like a university hall uh, lecture theatre. It's kind of like that. Um, and these people were all sat over there. I was the only person sat on this end aisle. And I like that because there's no heads in my way. I can put my feet on the chair in front of me. Um, if I can eat, hear you eating popcorn and you're at the other side of the theatre, you're making too much noise. Uh, <coughs> three, pick a mix. Why is it so expensive? Like, um, where's that box? Oh! This isn't the pick and mix box, this is what my example, right? I went to the cinema to see theory of everything, I thought I'll get some pick and mix, I want some food. I only half filled this box because I know how expensive that shit is. Fill it to about here. Well, you can't see. About here. That's about half full. The box was about this size. Seven pounds. That's expensive for f sweets. Like, I can go to Tesco and get a massive cup for four pounds. Or a similar shop that, uh, I think that Tesco also do a small cup for three pounds. And then 99p store do one as well. So, I don't understand why you're so expensive. It's, it's not, there's no need for it. Because they're based on how much, you weigh, how much it weighs. So, <clears throat> and I only had jelly sweets as well. I don't like any bills. Um, adverts, finally. The final thing, adverts. It's so annoying. Um... Because the film Theory of Everything was supposed to start at 20 past 5. I got there, smack on 20 past 5, because I had an hour to kill before it started. I was like, when are you going to get my nails done? <laughs> I've had them on nearly a week. Um, went and got my nails on, arrived into the cinema screen, smack on 20 past 5 after I'd got my nails done, got some pick and mix, got slushy, went to the toilet, and got back to the cinema screen and got in my seat. The film, the screen went lit up, and proceeded to play 20 minutes of adverts. The film didn't start until 20 to 6. And I was like, no. I could have set off 20 minutes later. I rushed to get back here to make sure I didn't miss the film. But you've done this. Why have you done that? <sighs> Surely this should like play the 20 minutes of adverts. 20 minutes before the film's supposed to start. Because then even though people will miss the trailers... Um, I know the I know the bit they're getting at. They want people to see the trailers, um, so they'll come back to the cinema. I've never gone back to a cinema because of a trailer. I got the cinema because I'm bored, so I went. I didn't go to see Paddington because I saw a trailer for it. I saw the advert on telly. That didn't make me want to go see it. I was bored. My fam, my brothers were pissing my mum off, so I just went. Do you want me to take them to the cinema? She was like, yes. So we all went to the cinema and saw that. Now Museum Three. We were bored, so we went. Let's go see that Museum 3. Theory of everything. I was sat in my in my room, learning Japanese. Um, oh yeah, I'm still doing that, by the way. I uh, haven't learnt any new phrases. Uh, I've learnt the alphabet, the Hiragana al alphabet. I'm now learning um, basic vocabulary. So I'll let you know if I, when I actually learn some phrases. Um, and I thought, I want a break from this. How much money have I got? Right, I'm going to go to the cinema. Got to the cinema. Um, found out that there was no actual good films on that I wanted to watch apart from the theory of everything and that didn't start till 20 past 5 so I was like watch that, go get my nails done, come back I went because I was bored the trailers don't make me want to go to, go to the cinema um, so yeah that was basically my long rant about the cinema it's 10 minutes long, bloody hell anyway, I'm going to have to deal with the fact that my videos are always this long so anyhow I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have similar views to me, then you can give this video a thumbs up and I'll make more pros and cons of things like this. Um, 
you can click there to see my last video. I upload videos every single week, so if you want to check those out, you can subscribe to my channel. I think I'm going to start doing them regularly on a Saturday, because I'm back into a routine now that I'm at university, and I get Wednesdays and Fridays off. So I'll probably film on a Wednesday and a Friday, and then upload on the Saturday. That sound like a good idea? Yeah! Let's do that! So, Saturday's my upload day, Wednesday and Friday is my film day, um, Sunday's my day off. So it's study day, let's call it that. Study day. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Uh, you can click that subscribe, see my last video, and I will see you next week. Goodbye!